Here at the Finger Lakes Grape Program, we are always listening to the concerns of our growers. One of the concerns that came up a couple times this year at our field meetings was soil compaction and its possible effects on vine health and yields. We then decided to hold an informational meeting to educate growers on different methods to alleviate soil compaction. At the workshop, Dr. Ian Merwin presented some of his work with different in-row cover crop systems and their effects on soil health. Before just hooking up an implement and dragging it through your vineyard, you must know what you are trying to accomplish. For this work, we had to know exactly where the compaction layers were. One tool we can use for this is a penetrometer. It's a steel rod with um, lines every three inches just to kind of give you an idea of how deep you are. A dial gauge up here and you know, it goes from zero to 300 and then over to do not exceed, which means the rod's probably going to bend because we've had this rod bending a couple times just trying to get through. Um, through the soil. I've, I've been in a couple spots, I was all my weight on it, feet off the ground, and it wasn't going any deeper than that. So we push it down and it's, you know, 200 right there. And then you get, you know, it, you'll break through the layer eventually, but you know, it's over 200 right there at 10 inches down. So then you come out to the row middle where the uh, tires would be and we're already over 300 and then you break through it and then you hit the, another compaction layer down there and then that one you get through that one so those compaction layers were at about six and then again at 10 inches down like all vineyards we tested the most severe compaction was found in the wheel tracks the layers in this vineyard were at three six and ten inches this particular soil also had a native hard pan at 12 to 14 inches at this workshop we had three different implements designed to alleviate soil compaction. We used a double shank ripper, single shank ripper, and a spader. So now we'll use the spader. Um, John Santos, this is actually his machine. Have you ever run it through an established vineyard? I have, okay. and, and in those cases, what, what I was more trying to do than anything else was terrace it. Mm -hmm. So you, you'd have trenches from hilling up, and we'd leave them that way and that would kind of be your guide for the tractor and the machine. Otherwise, you know, you hit a rock and the whole thing goes downhill. And it'll basically throw the soil up in the air, and as it falls back down, it'll fall downhill and fill up that downhill trench. That works, you know, that works really well, okay. unless it's really, really steep, in which case, as soon as you bounce, you're into the trellis, and it's yeah. then try getting the thing back out of there. <laughs> The spader was the least favorable implement demoed. Maximum working depth for this machine was 14 inches. When run at the proper depth to alleviate all compaction layers, it destroyed too many roots. When run at a depth shallow enough to not impact large amounts of roots, it had no effect on the compaction. When run shallow, the machine also bounced around and made it difficult for the tractor operator. Therefore, we do not recommend this machine as a compaction alleviation tool in an established vineyard. It does, however, have great pre-plant potential. The single shank ripper provided great results to the center of the row. However, it did nothing for the main compaction zones in the wheel tracks. It has an effective working depth of 14 inches. We also found that this machine was disturbing some roots that made their way to the row centers. We believe the roots grew around the wheel track compaction layers and then back towards the top 10 inches of soil. This machine may be a good idea for a grower looking to break up compaction from a harvester. If run in the fall, the single shank ripper could help funnel snow melt and spring rains into the soil profile. The double shank ripper was the most effective piece of equipment that was demoed. It has a working depth of up to 16 inches. When the shanks are adjusted to run directly in the wheel tracks, the results are exactly what you're looking for. This machine was custom built by a local fabricator, however several commercial models are available. This machine was able to fracture the multiple compaction layers that were present in our test site. We recommend a four-wheel drive tractor with at least 50 horsepower to pull this implement. Soil compaction is not a problem in all vineyards and growers should assess their vineyards before changing any management practices.